Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special treat for you guys. It's some digital art. Um, sorry if the format's a little bit weird, it's because I'm filming on my iPad. Oh, and before we get into this, the person I'm drawing today, he is wearing a bit of skimpy clothing. So there's, there's a bit of skin being revealed, but if you're fine with that, keep watching. If you're drawing digitally, you can use like anything you want. You can use Photoshop or me personally, I'm just using apps in the app store. Uh, you could buy an app or you could just use a free one. Right now, I'm using Procreate. This app does cost money. I think you have to pay like $9.99 or something like that. This isn't like a monthly subscription or anything like that. You just have to pay like $9.99 up front and then you get to use it for free like the rest of your life. And I really like this. I think it works really well. It like records your drawings for you and you can also make animations and stuff like that. If you would prefer to use a free option, there are so many different apps that you could use. One of them that I used to use was Ibis Paint X or Ebis Paint X. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. It worked pretty well. The only problem that I had with it was it would kind of like start lagging once you like exceeded 20 or something layers. Other than these two, there are also like a bunch more apps that you can use that are like totally free. By the way, I'm using an Apple Pen for this. You can use any kind of stylus you want. I used one from like Dollar Tree once and it worked like fine. I'm drawing something based on the Egyptian god Anubis. I'm not sure if you heard of him before. It's like that like dog headed dude and he's like in charge of like death stuff and like funerals or something like that. First, I started sketching out his dog head and then his human body. I used the reference photo for the dog head, by the way. I like really suck at drawing animal faces and like bodies, so I used a reference for that. So basically, in my drawing or painting or whatever, Anubis is like holding a human head. I, uh, it's like his head, but he's like holding it and he can like, I don't know, like swap his heads and you can like pretend to be a human or something. I don't, I don't really know what's going on, but like, yeah, he's holding a floating head, and that's that. For his staff, I was debating on whether or not to like give it a dog head or something like that, but in the end, I just decided to go with like this Taurus kind of symbol. I also struggled a lot with the head positioning. I wasn't sure if I wanted him to be like holding it under his arm, or if it was like floating, or if he was just like grasping it, like in his hands. In the end, I decided for it to just be floating in midair with his powers, I don't know, like holding it up. The necklace I gave him was like Anubis's like symbol. I don't really remember what it's called, but it's that like hanging thing on his neck. Then I changed the color of the background to like a gray color and then I started painting.
I think it came out like really good. I'm actually really proud of the fire because I like, again, I went crazy with Color Dodge and it just, it glows and I think it looks cute. I needed to like blend this like peachy color into like the gray so he kind of looks dead inside but that's okay. And if you're wondering Linda why the heck are you making his skin tone like so red? The reason for that is because his background is going to be red and when the light hits the back it's going to reflect onto him and then he's going to be kind of red. I'm not sure if that's like actually true, maybe I just made that up, but like, I trust me, so that's my explanation. In the middle of this, I kind of realized that his skin didn't really look like skin. Like, you know in science classrooms where there's like that human model and like it's just muscle and stuff like that and it's like really creepy? I feel like that's kind of what his body looks like. Oh, and ignore that little doodle. I was just like bored. I mean, like maybe you're gonna have nightmares about it for life because it traumatized you. But like, I'm sorry. I kind of reshaded his neck and gave him some like collarbone shadowing before I used, I think it was multiply to give him like more red shadow. I'm also starting to give him highlights on the nose and on his fur to make it look like he's actually like hairy and stuff like that. After like the main coloring is done, this is my favorite part. I just like play with layers and stuff like that. Here I'm highlighting his like muscles and he's like popping. Okay, like look at that. He worked out during quarantine. Okay, he glowed up. Then I got started on his headdress thing. Um, I kind of forgot about it up till this point and it might not make that much sense because like at first the edge is like blue and then when it gets to the top of his head the edge is yellow. But uh, nobody will notice that except I just told you guys but like it's fine. I gave him earrings and stuff like that because this dog headed man god has to stay stylish. I started coloring his um pants well it's not really pants it's like a it's not a loincloth either it's like a robe wrapped around his butt but um i really enjoyed this because i feel like it helped me improve a lot um it like helped me learn more about like drawing clothing and like wrinkles Just like I did with the body, I played around with layer modes and blending effects to like make the cloth a bit more red and blue to um, like work more with the background. The reason why I did this is because if you just drew a person without thinking of like the environment they're in and then you just draw a random background, it doesn't really fit because it, feel like, it feels like the character doesn't really belong there.
After I finished with the staff, I added some like blue sparkly flying things because I wanted there to be a little bit more of like blue on the other side. I also added some red splatters, but don't worry, it's not blood. It's like tomato sauce. Like he's, he's a messy eater, okay? It's not blood. Don't worry, kids. It's fine. Then I finally got started on his human head. After I finished with like my main shading, I gave him black lipstick, I do change that later, and I also gave him those red eyes. I also added some like Egyptian like eyeliner, you know that thing that they have? I thought it was like really pretty, so I added that on him. By the way, I totally forgot about the ear and I'm like just adding it right now. Now that I'm looking at it, it does look kind of elfy though. Then I added his highlights and everything and I changed his black lipstick and I just made it go like nude. I tried out a lot of different effects before I started on his hair. At first, I wanted like an ombre effect from like white to black, but then I decided against it and I wanted his hair to be kind of like a very dark brown color. I tried out the brown color, I didn't like it, so in the end I decided with very dark blue hair. I was also planning to do like this ornament on his headdress, but it was a bit too distracting, so I just got rid of it. Light. Since I felt like I kind of made him too bright, like to the point it hurt your eyes, I erased the work that I did and I started off with like a darker blue. Then I finished it by adding some red to the background. It's not blood, it's tomato sauce. 